is Richard Anderson. I'm out of the Minneapolis, Minnesota area. What's the name of your company? The company's name is Next Level Cafe. What did you think of the keynote this morning? Uh, the keynote was awesome. There was some really good stuff into there. Now I, I want to go get the book. I haven't read the Breakthrough Company yet, so it sounds really good. How are you positioning your company for growth this coming year? Uh, not well enough. Uh, right now I think there's a lot of strategizing and a lot of planning and a lot of ideas and you get a lot of ideas here. I th if I can come away from this, this, uh, this trade show or this uh, meeting with just a couple more that will be breakthrough, that, that's probably what I'm going to go with. So the cloud for many is kind of thought of as a threat and that was certainly echoed in Arnie's comments this morning. What, do you see the cloud as a threat and how are you seeing that in the development of your services and business model? I don't see it as a threat at all. I mean, it's inevitable, it's the right thing to do. If you think of the reason that people are looking to go to the cloud, um, they're the right reasons and so I think it's just our job to help them get there. I think there's some challenges, but, um, but it's inevitable and I, I, I look forward to it. What are some of those reasons that clients are interested in the cloud? Well, so for example, an exchange server. If you have an exchange server on site, it can be very expensive to have the hardware, the administration, the service. For five bucks, I can get that hosted in the, in the cloud. That makes a lot of sense. And now I can actually have the client administer their mailboxes. It just makes sense. What did you think of the modern office concept that Arnie introduced this morning? I liked it. I mean, it's a little visual and it's kind of cartoony, but I, I think it was very revealing. If you'd have asked people how many different sticky points are there in a modern office, you might have gotten three or four, but I think he showed 20, and, and I don't really relate to all of them. I mean, I don't sell digital signage, but I guess I could. You know, I, I liked it from the point of view that there's a lot of opportunity there, not just hardware. So I like that. Are there any of those that you uh, would seriously considering making available to your clients this coming year? Yeah, I don't know which one. I can't bite off 19 at a time, but there's there's one or two that I absolutely could do. And, you know, managed print would be one, and maybe digital signage is one, maybe voice over IP. But I think the key is you got to pick one or two and do it well.